goblin mode. <laughs> I didn't forget that the camera is there, so I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> Fair enough. Thank you. Good for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, it's it's been a while. It's been a hot minute. Been a little minute. Yeah, but we're back, and uh, you know, uh, we're beautiful. I mean, it's been the same thing we've been doing for a few weeks now on our channel, but for us, it's been a few weeks. It's longer been... than we usually go for. L Lily was sad. I missed my. Was Katie. she? Yes. <laughs> yes. Very sad. I was like, where's Katie? <laughs> I mean, busy. <laughs> so you're the one who's been away. <laughs> I was, that's fair. Uh, but anyway, we're back. We have, we're happy sailors and, uh, or whatever. Uh, <laughs> campers is usually what the, the phrase oh, is. That's happy the campers. Happy campers. Uh, and uh, Katie's going to introduce the podcast or something. Oh, yeah. Uh, hi, everyone. Welcome to all the films we judged before. I'm Katie. That's Goblin Lily Kay. <laughs> <laughs> Very special version of Lily this week. <laughs> I just enjoy this <laughs> very <It's> much. <laughs> I also have one of those. The thing is, it's over on my bed, which is behind my green screen, which I can't get out of currently. Um, Fair. So, so I'm just going to be a good Or it might be over there. I can't remember where I put it now. <sighs> Sad. Sad. And I have it. That's fine. I believe you because I know you have it. <laughs> I have it. I haven't figured out a way to make it look like good with anything I own yet. Oh, I put it today. I put it over my hoodie, and it looks fabulous, fabulous. I really enjoyed mm. that, and it, it kept me warm because uh, it's that time of the year where Lily is always cold. You can get the hood to stay on your head properly. For me, I put it on, and it just immediately goes the entire way over my face. It's, and I can't uh, get it to sit on my shoulders properly. Right, it's it's these these guys. Mm. The headphones. Oh, uh, the headphones. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. It's not me. It's not magic, or is it? Well, mm. <laughs> are you good? <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, spicing things up with my silliness. Like, uh huh. You, you don't like it? No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> I have dad jokes as well. Oh no. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Oh no! What do you mean? What do you? I mean, oh no! This is the thing at this point. You know how I feel. <laughs> don't act surprised. I am surprised. I have such good dad jokes. I don't remember any of them now. So you're lucky. <laughs> I've been having to put up with somebody at work, like making puns, but like not in that way that they're funny. They they're really reaching, mm -hmm. and you're just sort of like, oh, like you know, a good pun should be like painful, but you should respect it. Then These you, I don't respect. But you realize at that moment that my dad jokes are the best dad jokes. Eh, I mean, to be fair, on in the on the level of things, they're certainly above that. It doesn't mean I think they're good. <gasps> How dare you? <laughs> Besides, nobody does the dad jokes better than my Uncle Sean. Uncle Sean. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it's me. I'm the dad joke expert whatever oh uh, wow oh Hi. that's fabulous oh, elliot no what are you doing <laughs> i'm not doing anything <laughs> what's happening uh, this, this part of the green screen keeps getting up slightly brighter than the rest of it apparently <laughs> that's just wait i i think i found my dead jokes hold on oh, um, uh wait hold on i'm holding <laughs> okay. I found one of the best ones. <laughs> what Actually, did no, what, what, what did the ocean say to the beach? Nothing. It just waved. Come oh, on, man. <laughs> come on now. Oh, why did you know that one? That's so sad. Because it's. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I asked my dog, "What's two minus two? He said, he "Nothing." You <laughs> <a> dog. <laughs> I did ask him though. <laughs> See, those are the ones, I'm not gonna lie, those are the ones I prefer. Anything that's got like a really like deadpan, uh, 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 what's the word? Punchline? But, like in the vein of, this is not a good example, but it's the only thing I can think of. It's like, um, uh, how did chicken cross the road? It used its legs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that, <laughs> where it's just like, well, obviously, that kind of thing. 
uh, yesterday uh, I found a book in the box store called How to Solve 50% of Your Problems. So I bought two. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but then, then you've still got 25% left. Why? Because you solved 50% of your problems, leaving 50% behind. And then therefore 50% of the uh, 50% is 25%. So you've still got 25% of your problems left. Once I'm explaining it's like <laughs> percentages, you know. If you solve 50% of your problems, yes. the remaining 50% is now hundred percent of your problems. Yes. Oh, shut up. So overall <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you shut still have 25% of your original set of problems. <laughs> shut up. Uh all right. Uh Katie. Hi. What did you watch in the past few weeks? What did I watch in the past three? I don't know if I watched anything. Nothing. I've been rewatching The Magician, hence why I put Lovely Elliot behind me. I was in the mood and I, I missed Elliot specifically. Um, Fair. And it's been very nice to be watching our lovely friend Ricky again. With, yeah, every time he comes up, I'm like, Ricky. hey. Yes. Um, but I'm, it, as much as I love you, Ricky, I was watching because I missed Elliot uh, and Quentin, actually. I was missing both of them. Um, so I finished uh, season two. And I started season three, but I've not been really watching it like religiously. I've just been, you know, it on. thinking on when I've been bored or in, you know, Fair. in the in stuff. Um, most of what I've been watching is I caught, I was spent a lot of time catching up on Critical Role, mm. um, which I'm now caught up on. And oh boy, some stuff happened. Don't spoil it. <laughs> I'm not, some stuff happened. Um, uh, and then, um, uh, obviously, there was a break last week, so uh, I've just sort of been twiddling my thumbs, waiting for new episodes to come out. Uh, and I've been watching um, Dimension 20's A Court of Fame, Fae and Flowers, which has been a lot of fun. Mm. It's Fae, but they're doing Regency stuff. And everybody's really good. Amazing, amazing. Very funny and uh, enjoyable. The last episode is on this week. When this episode goes out, the last episode will be out. Oh, how exciting. So, It'll be all available for people who want to subscribe to Dropout, which recently just celebrated its fourth anniversary. I will plug Dropout whenever I can. They don't pay me, but I would wouldn't mind. But you can you can pay us. It's fine. You can pay us, or you could just. I, I mean, I'd be very good at them. Actually, that's. I'm just saying, you'd be really good at it. Fair. That's fair. Um, my actual copy of I'm actually because I joined the Kickstarter should be here by the end of this month or the beginning of next month. I'm very excited for it. Oh, you're getting gifts again. Gifts, indeed, that Amazing. I paid for. <laughs> well, you know, that's, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Still gifts. <laughs> um, yes, I shall be getting that, uh, hopefully, at the yeah, end, of, end of this month or beginning of next month. But other than that, I haven't really been watching anything. I, I uh, haven't been to the cinema since I saw see how they run again. <laughs> I saw it a second time a week after I saw it oh. last time. Because oh. we went to see it for Louis's birthday. Um, oh, okay. I'm still not that impressed by it. Hmm. And I think that was the way I came out of it. It's still very fun. I just don't think that... The, I think the thing I have the trouble with is that I don't think the case at the centre of it is all that interesting. Gotcha. Oh, that's Which, if, if you're not that fussed about that sort of thing, then I'm sure it's really enjoyable. Oh, okay. Fair. But that's for fair. me, I wanted a good mystery as well, and I don't think it lives up to that mm. sort of level. But yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen anything since. Um, uh, I they, I decided very consciously not to see Don't Worry Darling and, and purposely watched a review that spoiled the end of it because I was curious but didn't want to go see it. Oh, I'm not going to watch it either. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, eh. Mm. I don't care, to be honest. I cared when they announced him and, mm. uh, after the first trailer and then I just... And then it all went downhill. Yeah, so I'm like, oh. It's fine. I'm good without him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I was in very much the same boat, which is why when somebody whose uh, filmic opinions I tend to respect uh, posted a, a little TikTok um, mm. on their account. I don't have TikTok, but he posted it on his Instagram that he had posted it on TikTok, so I watched it there. Um, and he was like, oh, there's spoilers in this. I went, yeah, I'll watch this. <laughs> it's one way to see what happens. Yeah. Um, I've been hearing the range of things from Harry Styles is absolutely shit to he's fine, leave him alone. Oh, everyone uh, who watched it and I know said that he's shit. So 
Yeah, I've been, I've been, I think that some people have been a bit kinder to him because somebody I work with was like, he's so bad. But other people I've seen have just been like, he's fine. Everybody else acts better than him, but he's like, mm. <laughs> yeah, that which is, you know, it's not a good sign if you're like, eh. Yeah. Still. Ah, but I'm I think that only comes from the fact that he's like a mega star and people are like, ooh, can he act? Because he's in movies now. Yeah. Um, I mean, so I he was uh, he was decent in um, Dunkirk. Dunkirk. Yes. Well, to be fair, he wasn't doing a whole lot on Dunkirk. I know, but you know, he was decent for it. <laughs> so. fine. Again, I think it's one of those things. My my film, one of my film teachers used to say that um, there are no bad actors, only bad directors. That's um, that's a very fair point. Uh, so I think he's very capable of doing something magnificent. I just don't know if he's had the right director to bring that out of him yet. Also, maybe some acting lessons. And that's not a criticism, but it's it's... just generally speaking, people should learn a craft. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Although, once again, I will say some of our biggest actors never went to acting school. No, some people are, but like I did, but if you're going to be going into something you've never done before. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. It's not a bad thing to go and like, be like you know, yeah. try things and learn yeah, a craft yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and learn the, the specifics of. Um, that's why I think uh, some of the best uh, some, Britain makes such good actors because they make the often they go through um, basically Shakespeare training. Yeah, but yeah, they yeah, go yeah. and they they perform at the Royal Shakespeare Company and they like really dig into the the text and what every single line means and and how to convey that properly and all that sort of stuff. Which is why we get. I just think theatre actors tend to be better <laughs> performers. Yeah. I will never forget the day that I uh, auditioned for the Hungarian acting school which is like supposed to be the best uh and uh, a few of the things that i chose for the audition were from shakespeare and they literally were reading my uh, portfolio and they were like uh it's shakespeare again it's so boring and i was mm-hmm. like it's shakespeare i was like uh maybe i don't mind if you guys just don't you know i <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so they literally let me do like one or wait, one, two, three, like four lines from uh, a Midsummer's Night Dream, and then they were like, "Yeah, thank you," oh. and that was it. What so else I, are they expecting you to do? I don't know, but I was like, like "Here's a thing from a movie." I'm like, "No, it's boring." <laughs> I was like, "Okay," I don't. I I'm not even shaken by it. Like, if you say that Shakespeare is boring, then I'm just gonna be like clearly you haven't seen good shakespeare <laughs> <laughs> just that's like... the thing There's a... <laughs> just fuck off then uh so yeah that's a forever memory and that's why when i had like uh five was it five or ten days i don't know it was like i won a small training thing with west End when i was out in london uh, and and when I uh, um, said the same lines from A Midsummer's Night Dream, they were like, "Yeah, we know how to appreciate Shakespeare in this Yes, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was like, oh, "Thank the Lord." <laughs> so yeah, there's a. Uh, I I should find it and send it to you. Actually, there's a, there was a great um, a geek and sundry used to do this thing called um, Gather Your Party on Fridays mm-hmm. on their Twitch channel. And they did one one week where they did Shakespeare, basically. Ooh. And they had uh, Erica Ishii, Talison Jaffe, nice. uh, Liam O'Brien, Marisha Ray, and a couple of other people who I'm not that familiar with, so I can't remember their names off the top of my head, uh-huh. unfortunately. Like, just getting up and performing Shakespeare to each uh-huh. other. And it was fucking amazing. <laughs> it is it somewhere on YouTube. Um, and I got to watch Liam O'Brien do Juliet in Romeo and Juliet, and I was like... Oh. I love this so much. I think so cool. um I think Marisha Ray did a thing uh did Ophelia. Mm. Um uh, trying to remember what else that happened, but like there was a couple of them that were I mean amazing. Uh and I'll you know, when it's done well, it's done amazingly. That's true. That's true. And you can fuck it up very easily. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm just as easy. <laughs> so true. <laughs> it's uh, so true. So true. Um anything yeah. else you watched? I don't think so. Oh, no, no. Why can you think of something that I watched? I, I don't know. I was just did asking. I tell you about something that I don't remember? I right don't now? think you did. To be fair, no. I've been uh, the only other thing I've been doing is I've been playing near Replicant because um, a friend of mine she's a big fan of that game. So I've 
I bought it on a whim and I've been playing it. Um, the game has five endings, so I'm making oh. my way through. Fun times. Um, yeah, I've done the first ending. I'm just ready to do the second ending. Um, I really, it, I was somebody I've been talking to uh, asked me um, what was it, what it was about, and I was like, I don't know how to explain. Is there's so much lore mm. involved, mm. and uh, the reason there's five endings is just because there's about fifty fucking versions to the story, and and yeah, yeah, yeah. like there it's were just so fun. many. It is fun. It is very fun to be able to start a finish a game and be like, I'm still missing parts. I mean, just go through again. It'll show me different things. Um, but I, I'm sitting here like, I don't know if I understand this yet. And then trying to explain it to somebody who doesn't know anything about it is like, there is a pair of siblings and one of them is sick. And the other one is trying to figure out how to make her better. But there's way more to it than that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. Fair. Just go and play it. It's good. I would recommend it. Okay, that's the easy answer then. Yeah. Go and play it. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. It plays well. Fair. Um, it's a bit sad in places, so just be prepared for that. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's how all games and everything are, so me. Yeah. That's how life is. <laughs> it's so true. Uh, <laughs> what have you been watching, Lily? <laughs> uh, well, it's it's drawing season, obviously, since I'm back. Uh, whenever I can, I have to draw because... Everything is crazy, and I'm afraid I will die at some point. <laughs> Understandable. Work has been a bit like that for me at the moment. <laughs> Every single weekend we have a performance. I'm like, <laughs> so happy days, uh, which I enjoy, but like, <laughs> why now? Um, so I uh, uh, I finished Dope Sick, which I think I already said that I oh, started Oh yes, you watching. mentioned that you started watching it last time. Yes. I, I finished watching it and I was so fucking disappointed because I honestly thought the, the way it was going, uh, it, it honestly felt like that, okay, the, the last episode is going to be about the trial and these motherfuckers getting what they deserve and everything. Well, and, then, and, the then, case, uh, <laughs> and then the last, the literally, it turns out that that only happened in 2019. And the uh, series is playing through 1995 to, uh, wait, no, ni uh, 1990 to 1995 and 2005, and it, it's all, all different timelines. Uh, so literally the, the, uh, the finishing scenes are from the real uh, Kurt case and, and how, wow. how they got them in 2019, in fucking 2019. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm aware. I don't know if we actually spoke about this on the podcast, whether we just went over it in our texts. Um, oh, but I was we, in and, and yeah. what is it about? I think we just texted about it. I think we just texted about it. So yeah. yes, you, we were watching Dota Stick. We had a very long discussion about the fact that um, uh, farmer countries, uh, countries? Uh, no, companies uh, yes. in, <laughs> in the US are absolutely fucked and uh, the way that they peddled oxygen <laughs> to the masses was insane. Um, uh, and a huge lie, and it led to addiction on a mass scale, and it's still an issue. <laughs> it's, it's just honestly, I felt sick throughout the whole thing. It's very good. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> did you feel dopes? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Yay! That was a bad joke. <laughs> I love that. Uh, uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's very good. Michael Keaton is excellent. Uh, everyone is excellent. Well, he just won an Emmy for it. So oh, I yeah, hope, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, everyone is great. Uh, I didn't think he was the main character, though. So that was a very weird uh, sensation I had. Will Porter, my boy. My boy, Will. Loved him. <laughs> Loved him so much. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was uh, infuriating. It's to say That's the least. the way of things. <laughs> it was so fucking infuriating knowing that uh, it's, it's, you know, it's not just fiction. It's it's real life and then anything like this can happen and i was like okay this is tor torture it was i will watch another torture because i uh, i am on the whim and i'm just gonna do it so i finished watching dammer uh two days ago jeffrey dammer oh the Dharma the thing Dumber, yeah, yeah. uh which is uh very good i i I didn't feel any sympathy for him. I think even Peters was fucking a fucking freak. <laughs> like he ugh, just gave me the 
goosebumps and I was so happy because that's what we talked about with my brother as well that I was afraid that they're going to show the killings and it never happens like oh, you, nice you, you you never see that tank everything uh and and you know it's it's all about uh showing the victims and how you know yeah i i heard i i have heard that it's kind of horrifying and and, and all this sort of stuff the only thing i read was that uh one of the people who was represented in it basically had wasn't consulted about um the whole thing uh and she was like it was it was fucking weird seeing my own testimony come out of yeah, somebody's yeah, yeah. mouth. Yeah. Uh, and it was kind of horrifying because um, they didn't consult me about using it uh, or or just me being involved in general. And that that gives me the ick, right? Um, yeah, but at the same time, since it was all public... Yeah, but it's, they don't she's really still have here. To, I, I, well, obviously, <laughs> yes. That's the that... human and normal thing to do. But they were like, it wasn't like you have to go to them and say like sure but like if you're going to be telling the story of somebody who's i just it it, i feel like if you're going to be telling a story and your idea is to put the victims at the center of it go talk to the victims yeah and like make sure they're okay with it that should be the baseline yeah 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 yeah. (laughs) i agree i don't get me wrong i agree uh but uh (laughs) at the same time it's it's the woman who will really get pissed off at jeffrey because everyone's like you know composed then you you took my baby from me and whatnot and and uh it, it's the woman who was like fuck you jeffrey and uh, you motherfucker and and it's it's it, it was like yes <laughs> yes <laughs> thank <Exactly>. you <laughs> thank you Understood. i i was i was honestly hoping that he's she's gonna just kick the shit out of him obviously it was kurt so like you know it, it she couldn't do that but i was like yes <laughs> that's like mm-hmm so infuriating again like the fact i even tweeted about it because i was so it's it's fucked up like they you're in a bit of a streak because i know the other thing you watched as well actually i just remembered do you which one did i watch it blonde oh which i've been hearing horrible things about don't know uh, wait we get to that we get we'll get to that in a minute Oh, so this is the episode today, guys. We've got nothing else. To no, talk no, we're just gonna, you know, catch just up on this. It today. It's it's fine. Uh, uh, what is infuriating about the whole Jeffrey thing is that first of all, uh, one of the big things uh, was uh, he escaped and then he was escorted back to Jeffrey's uh, apartment by the police because they believed him, the blonde guy, uh, that uh, 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 that kid who was clearly a kid, a 14-year-old kid, was his boyfriend, and he was 19, and the police escorted him back to his apartment. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Like, are we serious right now? This is, mm-hmm. is and, and then, and, and again... Uh, sure, a quick reminder that the, uh, the US Police Department have absolutely no constitutional right to actually protect and serve, despite the fact that they put that forward yeah, as, a, yeah. as their whole thing. Yeah. It's, not, it's not true. Um, it's not. Uh, and it, it, the police sting to system in the US is based upon, um, uh, I can't remember the specific way to phrase it, but it's basically based on slavery and, and, and slave ownership. Um, so, and, and the Jim Crow administration. So, um, fuck that. <laughs> it's, I, I, it was um, unbelievable for me. It's... Like, you know, I, I knew a lot about the Jeffrey story, unfortunately. Oh, it's, I... it's one of the most famous cases yeah. of a serial killer, like, ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, and then you know, it was, I, I was still dumbfounded by it because every time I had to realize that this is not fiction again. This is, like, this really happened. And I'm always like... It's just so not okay. It's so it's so fucking fucked yeah, up. Yeah, and I absolutely agree. I think that there's a discussion <laughs> to be had more around those things, especially now because we've had a few of them. Yeah. Wherein I don't know how good I feel about having them be represented at all on um film or television because that their whole thing is that they want to. They, there's a sense of they almost win in the notoriety that they have, right? And that, like, there should be some kind of, maybe, I don't know, I'm 
positing things as opposed to actually, you know, saying this is the way it should be or anything. But it feels to me almost like we we have to ride the line a bit more about like sensationalizing um, serial killers and true crime because it's become so much of a thing. And like there are still people affected by a lot of the stories that get sort of like yeah. made into entertainment. Yeah. Um, and I'm not again because I mean I've I've listened to true crime podcasts. I've I've been I've enjoyed a true crime podcast here and there and in a true crime story. And I've, I was a very big fan of BuzzFeed and Solved um back in the day when it was on um and all that sort of stuff. But I feel like in the entertainment sort of sector, we are almost we're drifting into a space of like voyeurism and uh yeah sensationalism about um, um things that are still affecting people today yeah. um because like true crime fans are fucking insane because people they will they will reach out to people being like i'm gonna solve your case and it's like please leave me alone yeah like it's a thing yeah, yeah, yeah. awful yeah uh, uh that uh, this this series especially and uh, it didn't feel like that for me uh yeah Thankfully, uh, I think uh, uh, they they were so great. Uh, well, for me, at least that you know that was my experience with the whole thing. That I didn't care about Jeffrey or his struggles or or anything. And and they they were like they were very quick about it. Like they showed like the weird things that you know went around around him basically with his dad with whatnot, but. It wasn't the main thing and they didn't want to be like oh he was actually sick that's why he did it it was mm. like no he's he's a monster he he was a monster he he was an evil evil man and and that's it and uh you know uh i i especially love the episodes that were focusing on uh victims or or how they dealt with it there's the last two episodes are basically about you know um how the people who actually lived next to him or around him uh, dealt with the whole thing like you know they had to leave the flats they uh, once it was discovered and then uh, i know that um uh, the character and i'm gonna check her name because my memory is not functioning properly one second so the the character of Glenda Cleveland uh, was made up for the show in a level that it was a mixture of, of Glenda and Barbara, who was the actual neighbor of of Jeffrey. Uh, um, uh, but they did uh, report, uh, you know, the smell and everything and whatnot, and it was ignored uh, for like a year or something like that. I, really I mean, that doesn't inspire me too much. Have, it to have I told you about um, that uh, when we moved down to where we are now? Yes. Um, uh, we uh, were in a um, rental house for about six months, mm -hmm. seven months, something mm -hmm. like that. Um, and but pretty much from the moment we moved in, my mom was like, "This place smells like gas," and it did. It smelled the whole house smelled like gas constantly. Yeah. Um, and uh, it was kind of like, "Oh, that's ridiculous! This house doesn't have gas. There's no gas in the area. Yeah. It's it's not. It can't be gas. You can't be smelling gas, basically." Yeah. Um, it was reported to the landlord who basically said that. Um, we're basically like. You know, well, category five woman alert to my mother, who was yeah. like, "This place smells like gas. It's definitely there's gas in this place." Yeah, we had the doors open and all that sort of stuff. When we finally went to move out, they came to the house, walked in, and went, "Ah, oh, smells like gas in here." And oh. like, Fuck me! <laughs> Turned out there was a fucking gas leak under the house in the sewage system, and we had been living in a house that was full of gas for months. Oh my god, that's <laughs> but they wouldn't believe. Yeah. Uh, it's... <laughs> until they came and be like, "Huh, oh, smells like gas in here." It's like, "Fuck, no shit." <laughs> yeah, yeah, unreal, unreal. Uh, but but that's it... it. they just don't want to care. They don't care. No, about this. no, 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 no. And it's proven over and over again. Uh, what Back I'm hoping, uh, uh, yeah, uh, af after the show is that uh, someone, maybe it's going to be me, will start a petition because the show ends uh, with the fact that you know, obviously, the uh, Oxford apartments uh, were. Uh, uh, demolished where Jeffrey uh, committed these horrible murders uh, but uh, no matter how hard they try uh, they still didn't uh, uh, do the park in memory of the victims uh, so I want that park for the victims 
uh, because it's the victims that people should be remembering, not these fucking monsters that do the mm. crimes. So, uh, mm. yeah, yeah. But uh, I don't recommend it because. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> ten minutes on this other. I don't recommend it. <laughs> no, because it's it 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 broke my heart. No, I understand. It's, it's it was really hard to to watch through it. It's the first episode. I had to turn it off. It, 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 the the panic and everything I felt, the disgust, everything was like horrifying. It's horrifying. Like you know. Yeah, I, I will point out that because I, I mentioned what I, my feelings on the, those sorts of things when it comes to true crime, um, I point out my own hypocrisy in that, that I was recommending Under the Banner of Heaven recently. Yeah. But I feel like that almost is, it feels slightly different because like the focus of that story was never really on the people who committed the murders so much. I mean, they're mm -hmm. very much a part of the story, but the whole the premise of the story is very much based in um, sort of the you know fundamentalism in within religion and how it can be used to radicalize and um uh, is generally an incredibly fucked up system uh that uh, oppresses women um uh, yeah. 99 99 percent of the time actually no 100 percent of the time it just is an oppressive system for women um uh, uh, uh and it is just the whole thing's very awful but the, i think this the series did a very good job of giving light to a lot of things in that are in Mormonism that um, have been purposely kept secret from the public outside of people who are within the Mormon religion that are uh, incredibly fucked up, including some of the stuff that is shown in church that I know uh, there were some pretty hardcore Mormons that were like, you can't be showing that, you literally uh, are breaking it. And it's like, well, <laughs> this guy's not in the Mormon church anymore, so fuck you. <laughs> um, pretty insane but you weren't huge on uh you you, you didn't like the religious element of it no <laughs> oof it pissed me off so much that i i didn't even finish the first episode which is fair it's very rough to watch because it's a lot to deal oh. with but i um i have a, a lot of very strong feelings about um fundamentalism and religion because it is is it, is, it pisses me off uh, but I, I i there's something what's the word i don't really know what the word is it, it it's <sighs> It satisfies something in me to see it talked about. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I, I get the in a, in a sort of twisted sense of that. I get the same sort of thing seeing um, at the way that that uh, Matt Murdock's Catholicism is 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 represented in 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 Daredevil. That mm. kind of like seeing something that feels actually true, you know, to. I don't know. It's very confusing, but they, yeah. they, it satisfies something within me to be able to see people talking about it in a way. I don't know. That's fair. That's fair. I get it. I get it. It's fair. Uh, which is why. <laughs> Not I, moving on to blonde. <laughs> Not yet. I mean, I need, oh, okay. I need a minute for that. I need That's a minute understandable. That. <laughs> uh, I got recommended uh, the uh, John, John Wayne Gacy uh, documentary on Netflix. Okay. Which is not surprising, uh, because actually there's uh, uh, this infamous thing that... Uh, I have to uh, remind myself which one's John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> Please hold. Uh, he's almost the same as Jeffrey. Uh, yeah. He just, he just did it earlier. 33 uh, victims. Um, and oh, he was the guy. He's the clown guy. He's the That's clown right. guy. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and basically, it, it's in the, in the Dumber series as well that, uh, you know, uh, he got uh, uh, the death penalty... Uh, on the day that Jeffrey got baptized, which was like a weird <laughs> fucking thing. And it's true. It, I, I checked it. I fact checked them and it's true. And there was an eclipse as well. So I was like, huh. well, weird things happened that day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I watched that documentary. And I don't want to go to, to crowded places or to, I don't want to meet people anymore. This like... is the trouble. You can't like binge consume true crime <laughs> stuff. It's horrifying. It's bad for you. It is. I'm like, I'm properly like looking at people. I'm like, are you a murderer? And I can tell you this because a huge portion of my uh, teenage years were watching. I mean, they weren't true crime, but I I watched a lot of crime dramas yes. in, in my teen years, and uh, you spend a lot of time thinking about stuff that I don't need to be thinking about as fifteen year olds. Yeah, I still want the third season for Mind Hunter, though. So. Oh yeah, I'm <laughs> fucking absolute fucking loot. Like, <laughs> are you kidding me? That's a must. Uh, so yeah, I watched that as well. Uh, I watched Loom, which is a, a new Netflix oh, film. Oh, I watched that. 
yeah, with Alice yeah. and Jenny and yes. uh, uh, Journey. And a badass. And it's, I liked it. It was really fun. It's, it's nothing special. I'm not going to say it's like a new, new action thing, but uh, Alice and Jenny's great. So. Look, Alice and Jenny is always a win. Yeah. Always. <laughs> so it was a win. I really, I, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I'm sure I watched other things as well. Andor. Which is great. Uh, the I new Star Wars series. Andor. It's, it's, you can see my dad's credit name in the credits of Andor. Yes. I, ca- so I caught it. I caught it. Did I was you? like, <laughs> I know I that spent, name. Uh, the, 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 day, <laughs> the day it came out, I basically showed it to everybody I could. I, like, hey, I caught it. I was so. I was like. Yeah, we had a little discussion about which one of us was going to get our first credit. And I was like, you know, technically my first credit was on Scrap Kings, right? And he goes, ah, so you win then. But he's got a much cooler credit, so I think he wins. <laughs> you it's, know? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> you, can, you get that. <laughs> no, I'm joking. My name will be I'm, on the repair shop next year. <laughs> yes, there you go. I'm, jo- I'm joking. I'm joking. That's still cool. Uh, but it's Star Wars, so it's cooler. No, no it's not. I know. No, no, I, 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 no, no, I agree. <laughs> Matt explains it. <laughs> but uh i i fucking i i think it might i've be, heard it's amazing it, um. it, it might be my my favorite star wars again which is not surprising because uh rogue one is my one of my favorite star wars movies so well done i'm, I'm just saying that like so far they are fucking nailing it and uh, yeah i um the thing i heard from a couple of people who went to the you know i follow a couple of youtube sort of based people um who uh went to you know premiere in london and um one of them was basically like it's actually really nice and it feels very um much like the sort of star wars thing that they would have wanted to see i can't remember the specific way he worded it Mm. but i was talking i've mentioned to him i I kind of replied i was like one of the things that has kind of been putting me off star wars as i've kind of mentioned is that sort of sense of like oh you need to know all of these things in order to really understand this thing um, which I found to be a little bit isolating at times, but he and he was like, "Yeah, no, it it really it does a really good job of being very yeah. um, grounded and yeah, and yeah. not that." And I was yeah. like, "Cool, okay." So I do need to sit down and watch it, but I, I like I have to say, I haven't really been watching. <laughs> I haven't really been watching anything. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Uh, yeah, I think this uh, and. Finally, <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna let you go on on blonde because I I haven't seen it. I walked in don't as Louis. No, this is what I've been hearing. Um, Louis was watching it um, the day it came out. I walked in uh, and he paused it and it was like, and I saw that the time was nearly three hours long. I was like, why the fuck is this movie nearly three hours? And everything I read about it is horrific. It's not even true. No. Like it's it's fiction. It is. And Dis- from what I can, the, the, one, the one thing I saw when I walked in was Marilyn Monroe with Marilyn this version of Marilyn, mm-hmm. sort of thrown to the floor, tits out, whispering like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, it's, uh, I didn't watch the whole thing. I, I <laughs> put this out at first because I couldn't handle it. It's, I love Mary Morrow. Uh, I, I think that if uh, anything should be put on film on her is the way she fell in love with cinema, uh, the way she decided that she's going to become an actress, uh, the way she had and actually to... like understanding and and uh, emotional, uh, not emotional, what the fuck am I wearing? The, the, an empathetic feeling of the fact that she was heavily depressed pretty much the entire time when she had, went into stardom. Yeah. That's something to tell. Yeah. Uh, 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 her achievements uh, she has two golden globes uh, she's many more awards uh, she was one of the loudest persons saying that uh, black people uh, should be on film as well uh, she was an advocate for that that's what we should amazing. be yeah that's that's what we should be watching about we don't her. need to watch a sex exploitation no, movie it's... too and and, uh, and into, I read the whole I read the scene about um the 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 JFK thing and I was like, why would you put this in a movie? Like, why would you why would you present a biopic which is fictional and then but present it as fact? Like that doesn't make any sense to me. Because you're sick in the head. Well, yes, clearly. <laughs> that's that's the only reason. Like, I I was so disgusted by it all. And I'm not gonna say uh, that oh, oh no, the almost was so good. Why did you say yes? She read the know. script. Why the fuck did you say yes to this? 
yes, she has like the resemblance and everything. And I'm sure I would appreciate her performance more if if it was like in a completely different setting, like maybe about the truth. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but this was just utter mm. fucking disrespect towards Marilyn, towards sur it's... survivors of uh, sexual assault. Oh, yeah. uh, it's how the fuck dare they <laughs> like honestly the fact that this is based on a fictional book as well and that sold millions of copies and uh i i have to bring up the thing that everyone is bringing up who loves mary at least a little bit uh her last words in an interview were like please don't make a joke out of me mm. and that's exactly what they are doing so I'm 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 very pissed off that mm. this can actually exist, and and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna praise anyone who worked on this movie. We always say that you know even if the movie is bad and um sure the the work they put into it and everything. No. How the fuck dare they? It's a, it's a real person. <laughs> so that's all I have to say about it. Please mm. don't watch it. <laughs> don't don't even click on it it's not worth it it's fucking know. disgusting yeah it's it, from what i've seen it just feels like uh, it, it, it's just a pornographic it version is. of somebody's trauma uh -huh. and not even true no like that's just that's the thing that really gets on my like it's it's not true so why would you yeah watch, know, having... um, watch marion's films watch uh, some like it hard watch watch uh, other movies from her or if you want a biopic about marilyn watch my weekend with marilyn which was a you know which was a, which was a great little movie with michelle williams and uh, eddie redmayne that was it i was like this sounds familiar yeah i like that movie it's you know it still shows her trauma but it, it shows her joy as well yeah and it, it yeah. does it in a in a in a proper way not disgustingly like this and it's not even fucking true so yeah fuck bonkers mate <laughs> it's oh it, it honestly pissed me off so freaking much <laughs> i i think you can tell <laughs> mm. why i brought it up because i thought you yeah yeah uh, no it's like I'm, I'm i'm so pissed off about it and and i'm i'm glad that uh the internet is the same like everyone is like fuck you guys <laughs> like yeah pretty much that's, that's like the only thing i've been saying is just sort of like why yeah why the fuck would you do this um but yeah anyway i think that's all i watched anyway i i completely missed uh watching avatar again on the big screen yeah it was it, they're not they um they put it on in my local cinema and you know what they did they kept sticking on it like two in the afternoon on a weekday and i was like i'm i'm at work i'm busy <laughs> I was in London, <laughs> so and by the time I came home, uh, I knew that I would have performances on the weekend, so that was a no-no. Uh, and then I was hoping that maybe this week I could watch it, and then they took it off uh, uh, now. On, on Sunday. <laughs> like it just disappeared. <laughs> like I was like, uh, okay, I guess I won't watch it again. Which is, I'm very sad. I, I saw it a million times, but I, I want to. I was going to say, I think you're good. <laughs> I know, I can't help it. Um, but yeah, it's it's we're getting close uh, to uh, the final rush in the cinema, which means that Black Panther is is getting neater. And uh, today we got a, a trailer. Got a trailer. And I watched it, and I was like, mm -hmm, that's definitely Sherry in the suit. <laughs> uh, I I kind of hope it's not. But you, I think you can tell. Like yeah. the frame, it, it like her. That's her. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, that's shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. It's, it is Still, everything else that looks real fucking good. Oof. So fucking good. I'm like so excited. I've and... got Marvel's version of uh, Aquaman. <laughs> yes. Yes. Very true. Very true. Fish boy. Fish boy. Uh, looks stunning again. It does. It looks stunning. It's it's like you know I'm I'm. Of course it um, does, it's fucking cool. It is. Uh, I, I just honestly can't wait to get into the cinema and watch it finally because I'm like... <laughs> and I, I, and I want to see... I want to see... I know it's it's like... But I want to see how they're going to handle Chadwick's... Uh... Well, it looks like it's pervasive. Yeah. Like, it's like literally... It feels like it's definitely in the DNA of the movie. There was a couple of hints towards Ironheart in there as well. Yes, I was well, so that, happy I was very that. happy. I was like, ooh. Really? Riri is so great. I can't wait. I can't wait. Right, that looks very exciting. But yeah, I watched it. I was like, mm -hmm. yes. 
Yes. yes, I am looking forward to this actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, and then we're gonna get obviously in December, Avatar is coming. The way your I, order. Like, I'm sure there is something else coming out before. I mean, in October we've got a bunch of spooky stuff coming out. So well, yes, but that's more TV and and whatnot. So uh, that's why I'm like uh, cinema wise. That's. I'm not gonna lie. I, I think that's the only two things I'm excited about. I feel like there's gotta be more. Are you sure? I, there's a, there was a few things that I was actually looking forward to. I've Wait, had I'm like gonna... really bad reviews. Like I saw the trailer for Amsterdam a while ago, and I was like, oh, that looks fun. And then the reviews came out about shit. Is it? <laughs> yeah, apparently it's really naff. Oh, um, that's sad. I'm trying to think of because uh, I'm, like, I'm, I'm checking my be, book. Here's the thing. This should be the time where all the interesting like potential oscar movies come like because like we, there's like two there's two sort of spaces for oscar movies right there's the like really push for oscar films that come out mm. in like january february time just before the oscars yes uh, or like around christmas and then there's the kind of period where we get the, the all the interesting like original films which come out kind of september october time into november but um i haven't really seen anything that's been like really uh made Maybe go, ooh, interesting. But I'm just gonna ignore the fact that they're doing that. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I'm checking um, now, I'm checking now. Hold on. Hold this. on, TV. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, the 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 woman king is is Oh also yeah, out. actually that was it. I was like, I'm sure there's something. Yes, yes. that that I will be wanting to watch. Uh, once again, I don't think it's not gonna I, I don't think he's gonna come to Hungary as well. So I think I'm I have I'm gonna have to go make my way down to um Brighton to go see it because I'm pretty sure my, my local cinema is not gonna have it on, so which is very fucking annoying. That's it is fair. a bit annoying. Or I could go to the other independent cinema just nearby, which actually probably will have it. I that's might fair. That's fair. I'm, I'm checking now. Hold on. Hold on. Holding. Um, let's see. Thursday. Um, oh, that's September. We already. The, 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 kind of the biggest thing that I'm looking forward to is Knives Out, and that's not out until the 23rd of December. That, yeah, that's, that's, that's December as well. And it's on Netflix. So, and it's on Netflix. Although I, I read, I want, I did, I try, I on, you know what I did? I bought a BFI membership because I wanted to try. It. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to go see it at a London Film Festival, and it was like, oh, you can buy tickets before the date, at the um, the you know general audience date. And oh. then I finally went through and got because I've been thinking about getting one for a while. Um, so I don't regret it because I'll use it at another point, I'm sure. Mm. But uh, the moment I I logged in, I was like, right, I've got the membership. Let's have a look. All of it was sold out. <laughs> and I was like, I should have known. <laughs> I should have known, yes. but uh, if, if um, at any point they do like a limited run in the cinema, I'm going to go see it in the cinema. Yeah, that's it fair. Fucking great! It does. Uh, Black Adam is coming out as well, which is the rocks. Oh yeah, uh, I, saw the I, saw, I saw a poster for that on a bus stop the other day, and my first thought was that looks like a fake poster that you get in like a post-apocalyptic uh, movie. Like it uh, looks not real. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's fair. And I also have had I I I can't quite express to you just how little I give a shit. I on a, I I would probably watch it because I like the rock. Uh Yeah, that's the thing. The only reason I'd be like, yeah, it's the rock. I, I yeah. think, right? But like I've got no desire to go. No. And... <laughs> no, not really. Like I'm not that interested in it. Uh so yeah, you know. Um it's not even on my list, is it? No, it's not. I have Oh, it is. Oops. I haven't gone through my. Uh, I haven't gone through my. Um, I've got two oh, copies of Empire. I haven't looked through properly yet. Uh, oh. Which is sitting on my bed. The newest one came like a week ago, and it's all okay. full of Black Panther stuff that I will nice. look through and and read properly. But the last one had a bunch of stuff to do with um the new Knives Out movie, which I haven't read properly yet. So I actually want to read it. Um, uh, so I will need to do that. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's just, I feel like there's not been a whole lot of. I I haven't seen anything that's. Been, you know set to come out in this period that well, maybe go ooh Sp yes. Spider-Man was supposed to come out but uh, obviously it got delayed no I'm talking about like like the original content you know not, not outside of the studio system sort of stuff I'm talking about like you, you, the things like See How They Run or, or oh, The yeah. Woman King yeah. or anything like that where, where it's like original IP probably going to be a one-off not a franchise piece that kind of comes out during this period but I haven't seen anything that looks really interesting. But the only things I've seen that have looked interesting have ended up being kind of shit, apparently. 
She's always annoying. Well, I'm um, like, come on, give me my original content. I miss my horror things, which I, I hopefully yeah, we're this, a, this month it's going to be satisfied. <laughs> I mean, it, uh, a Halloween ends comes out. I don't care about the that. Thing for thing. Some people, I, the only reason I brought it up because I was just watching the Graham Norton show uh, at Long oh, okay. Island today because um, Jamie, Jamie Lee Curtis was on. Was yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Also David Tennant, which was the reason I was watching real. Um, um, but uh, uh, talking about uh, a TV series, well, he was actually there talking about play, but like he had a co- uh, uh, a co-star there talking about the TV series he's been in, written by Stephen Moffat, and I was like, well, this is probably going to be shit. <laughs> and you know what? The reviews have been less than kind. Oh no. Well, I mean, the the kind of reviews, the critic reviews have been fine. It's the audience reviews that have oh. been like, this is a fucking mess, which is what I was expecting because it's Stephen Moffat a crime drama. <laughs> Fair. But it's got really good people. Stanley fucking Tucci's in it. I mean, <gasps> I love Stanley Tucci. It's, but that's the thing. But apparently, oh, it, apparently the whole thing because it's like four different. It's called Inside Man. It's got like four different people kind of I based about around. That one. Yeah, it's kind of they're all kind of involved in the same case in some form or other. And David Tennant's playing this vicar, and as far as I can tell, his entire plot is based around him being unable to communicate properly. Um, in a way that is like infuriating and I'm like oh good so like my worst my like my least favorite trope in television where people just refuse to say things that they mean I don't know I'm Fun not times. Of, but like I was curious about it it's like when the Dracula series came out and I was like right how are they gonna fuck this up then? <laughs> which feels mean but I mean I was right fair that's fair uh, but you know the, the, the big the... Happening. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, the big thing uh, that's happening is the new Mike Flanagan series is coming out yes. this week. We'll be talking about that in a couple of weeks. Yes, I uh, can't wait. Uh, the Midnight Club. Uh, it's it looks amazing. Uh, if if you watch the trailers, I don't know if you watch the trailers. I didn't realize because they had a bit on it in Empire. I re- was reading the other uh, other week. Um, it's technically a kid show. Like he's made he's made it for like it's not. Not midnight mass, basically, is what it's I mean. Not, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he's a, he, it's, it's like a, it's, a, he's, it was described as a kids show in, in, in the yeah. article I was reading, and he was like, there aren't as many monologues in this, and I was like, but why? Exactly. <laughs> I like your monologue, Mike. 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 I'll listen to any. I like yes. hearing you pontificate. Exactly. We need the monologues. <laughs> But anyway, we're going to watch it. I think there's going to be more logs in it, but like yeah, just probably. not as many. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about we it are gonna, in the we're next gonna episode. About it. I'm um, very excited. And then there's, there's going to be the master, Guillermo del Toro's uh, cabinet of curiosities. Cabinet of curiosities with lots and lots of very interesting and fun people, uh, which the trailer book came out the other day and looks good. Beautiful. It's very, very good. Beautiful. Looks properly like spooky. Yes. Yeah, I can't wait. I need getting more of a taste for that kind of spooky thing, you know. I it feels like you know, spooky as opposed to psychologically damaging. Yes. <laughs> Which I, I think don't that's like. what I need as well. <laughs> I need to, I need a switch now. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... it's just something spooky where you get to watch I mean Ben Pons looks very pretty. <laughs> oh, I know. I mean, I'm really like... pretty in that trailer. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. Uh this somebody man. else who's in it that's that was that I was like, ooh, him and I can't remember who it is now. No. Uh, got a really good people. cast and I can't remember who else is in it I mean Andrew Lincoln's in it he's not who I, I was know. thinking of um, why would you say that so sadly I don't know it came out like that <laughs> cabinet curiosity I'm already on it I'm already on it wait hold on hold on uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know who you are I don't know who you are I'm so bad at this <laughs> Sophia oh, yeah, Rupert Grint. I was like that's funny be, 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 nice to see uh, Rupert Grint doing things Oh yeah, Super Grint. That's that. That was on my mind. Uh, Gina Davies, Andrew Lincoln, Crispin Glover. It was probably it is. Uh, DJ Qualls, um, Tim Blake Nelson, uh, a lot of people. Uh, F. Murray Abraham. Hang on, because the thing I'm seeing on here is not giving me everybody, and that's very annoying. It is very annoying. It's always annoying. Oh, 60, 60 cast members. Uh, my mom's beautiful band, Rupert. Um, I'm checking. I'm checking. It's gonna really irritate me. I swear to God, there was somebody else. Eric Andre, Sebastian Roche was in Supernatural. I did see that. Yes, um, uh, Super Sebastian Roche has been Supernatural and basically everything else. Yeah, exactly. I know. Um, let's see who else is in here that we know. 
can't see it now. No. I don't know. There was, I swear, there was somebody that I was like, oh no, no, can't remember who it was now. I think I, I, uh, I looked. Well, you know, uh, Rupert Green was a surprise. Maybe it was Rupert Green that I saw, and I was yeah. like, oh, ah, Rupert. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Uh, Rupert is great. I love Rupert right. Green. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, so we will have spooky stuff. I, I am just happy about the announcement that they're gonna make another Fear Street like uh, movie trilogy. Oh, really? Yes. I did not know that. And uh, and that that made me very happy because I actually really enjoyed the Fear Street movies. I think they were very very fun and and good uh i uh, so, uh i rewatched the the best one out of the three which was the middle one the the summer com- camp one with it was like uh, say the the sink. One, right i read it's about the this second one. yeah <laughs> it's, it's uh, and obviously it's say the sink uh from um um stranger things in it and she's just great in everything so no surprises there uh and then uh uh they are doing something similar but you know, obviously with different settings mm. and, and and whatnot, but uh, it will be very interesting to see mm. what they come up with. Um, that's going to be more Mike Flanagan stuff uh, yes. coming out. Yes, whenever is... that will you know, that'll be in the new year because they've only just started. Maybe, I mean, yeah. they only started filming a couple of months yeah. ago, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They finished it yet? I'm trying to remember. Oh, we've only got uh, it's, we were at 55 minutes on yes, the, on yes. the thing, so I feel like we, we probably should wrap up soon. But I was thinking about. The, the stuff that got announced at Tudum, but I can't really think of any. Is that what... I can. Uh, Alice in Borderland season two. It got a trailer, well, a short teaser as well. Uh, I imagine that came in the Korean uh, section because I'm not going to lie to you, I didn't actually watch anything outside of the uh, the Europe and US uh, part, apart from when they had most of the cast of Squid Game there, when they were like, oh, we're going to show you deleted scenes. We're working very hardly on season two. And I was like, half of you are dead. <laughs> or are they? Most of the people that were there, I was like, <laughs> yes, most of them were definitely <laughs> dead. I know. Uh, yeah, but uh, Alice in Borderland got a trailer, a uh, bad teaser, and I'm very happy, and I can't wait. Actually, on a related note, but like, uh, I don't. So there's a one of the one of my daily things is actually a weekly thing, um, in the sort of Wordle uh, yeah, like area of like, you know, daily games that you can mm. do. There's one that that came out recently that was episodic and it's like TV shows, but it's it changes once a week. Um, spoilers for this week's the week of the third of October. If you do the episodic um, thing, it showed me the first picture and I was like, hmm, TV show, and this looks uh, Asian, probably Squid Game. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually looked at it. It's like that looks like some kind of Asian China. Let me. Um, <laughs> and you were like, let me squid try game. Squid Game. Done. You look at that. Win. There you go. Uh, That's how you do it. Rock news. And roll. Um, things I was excited about into them real quick. Uh, we got. I told you we were gonna get a fucking first look at my boy yeah, Nikolai. In. He's in there. But I'm not. I'm, my point is that you saw him, and he's in there. And we saw them in the in the outfits. I know you're not fond of him yet. No. Yet. No. Yet. We'll see. But we did see it. That's my point. Because I did say beforehand, and I'm very pleased with myself because I got basically all of my predictions right, apart from one. Um, in that I uh, uh I said that um. Shadow and Bone probably sometime next year. I'm thinking probably January, February. We haven't got a confirmation on that, but I reckon that's probably maybe probably January, February time. I think maybe March at a push. I don't think it's going to go beyond that. So. Yeah. But then they announced that The Witch of Blood Origin. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's going to go in the Christmas slot this year because the season three of The Witcher only finished filming at the beginning of September. Got that so on the money that it's coming out on Christmas Day. There you go. That was a fuck yeah. But then they confirmed that the season three of The Witch is going to be dropping in, in summer next year, which I was, uh, that did surprise me. Uh, mm-hmm. But I'm very excited about it. I know you don't care, but I'm no. very excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. But um, also, Waylon looks very good. Waylon looks so good. You didn't start reading the books like you said you were going to. Oh, uh, I tried. I honestly yeah. tried, but if, no. I'm dead I... every night. Yeah, <laughs> understandable. Yeah, so I'm like, I, I literally have the book next to my bed, and I'm like, every night I'm like, that's. Like, I'm gonna see what it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. 
<laughs> I might have to do an audiobook on it. Or I don't know because I can't. I don't know what the audiobooks are like for those books, honestly. Um... I might check it out. Uh, but uh, we didn't talk about a very important thing, though. The Last of Us trailer came out. Oh, fuck. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot because we spoke about it. We did. Like <laughs> I sent it to you, like, have you seen this? And you were like, I've just gotten off play. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But uh, to tell you the truth, I immediately clicked on it and watched it on mute, and then I watched it again, <laughs> listening to actually what they are saying. I, um, I had like such a because I've been so unsure about this, right? Because yes, you know it was, it, it's been you know you, you make a live action version of a video game. It sometimes it can feel a bit cheap. Yep. Because they've made things that have looked really good in 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 yep. in like animated form real, and it's like oh that looks like a set. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but then there's just been a couple of, like just like. And I, I've, we've, we've got our own sort of feelings about some of the people who, <laughs> that one of the people involved. Yes. In, in yes. the last one. But, uh, and I thought for a while that was going to dampen my enjoyment of it, but I watched the trailer and I was like, oh, oh, it's like, it's actually real. <laughs> <laughs> I've also been replaying because uh, I bought part one. Same. Um, I just started uh, I this weekend. I, I've been kind of playing it in little bits because I stopped because I started playing Nier because Nier was new and I have played The Last of Us many times. <laughs> um, but it's very nice to play. It, it looks is really, beautiful. It, it's beautiful to play and it feels very nice to play yeah. and um, the uh, the triggers on the PS5 with mm-hmm. the glow are really satisfying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, uh, but I haven't got very far into it. I'm like in Bill's town, basically. Um, oh, I have, I'm not even there yet. Yeah, but like just like looking at things and being like, uh, oh, oh, th- stuff, stuff and things, stuff and things. <laughs> and then that fucking clicker was like, that's that's where I insane. was like, that's where I was like, when they showed that clicker, I was like, okay, that clicker looks like the best Beautiful. cosplays I've seen of clickers at like conventions. The people who make those insane models and like wear it's, them and, and they go around and it like it's really really good. <laughs> it's very fucking good. I was so impressed by that. I was like, that's when I was like. Mm-hmm. You got me now, okay. And the two buildings. Yeah, that really got me. I was like, oh shit, the, the like, environment looks really good. That right. <laughs> and uh, that and the uh, it literally was just the shot of the watch broken. Yes, I got, the I, very genu- I got really choked up about it. <laughs> I was like, yep, this is fucking weird. They actually care about this. <laughs> Well, I mean, beautiful. I'm not entirely surprised because um, obviously Neil, Neil's involved I very know. heavily, and in, in, uh, the guy yeah. who made it is the guy. It's who how it should global. be. Um, it's, it's how it should again, be. Again, <laughs> please keep the people who make the properties involved. <laughs> okay. it, it actually helps your project. It Just does saying. help. <laughs> what a surprise! Uh, yeah, but uh, it looks beautiful. Uh, nice. I'm, I'm still. I'm still like I told you that Pedro is gonna be fucking great as Joel. So like, I mean, I <laughs> well, did not deny that when <laughs> I know, but like even in his voice, I was like, when they yeah, cast, uh, when they uh, announced uh, him as Joel, I was like, I was thinking of his voice, and I was like, he's gonna be perfect. He's, he's I I just knew that he he's gonna bring it, and yeah. He already proved it. Like he, he the, said, the, like two sentences, and I was the, like, "Yeah." The thing that makes me so crazy is that it was like the like, two shot scene, the bit at the end, like at the end of the winter section, which like genuinely I can't. Like it makes me cry every time. It's the 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 point where he calls a baby girl. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, it genu- it fucking destroys me every single time. Yeah. Um. Uh. And I, you, you can see him doing that in the trailer, and I went, "Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fucking survive." <laughs> It's gonna be emotional, guys. It's gonna be emotional. Mm. Uh, but yeah, it looks beautiful. So it does look beautiful. Still, still, you know, reserved. Else in here, that's like, yeah, my my judgment is reserved. But like, it looks like even if it doesn't satisfy, mm. tried, and yes. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm just exactly. looking at this stuff, and uh, I don't really see anything else worth mentioning. They clone Tyrone. Looks really good. I don't know mm. if you've seen that, but like you know, it's John Boyega and, and, and yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it does, it does. Aiona Parrish and Jamie Foxx, and that looks yes. like stupid fun. Yes, yes. Um, yes. The only other thing that I saw that was might have been worth what mentioning was, uh, I mean, it's not that worth mentioning, but I'm kind of excited that No Lie Homes Two comes out next month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm just looking forward to that because that's just gonna be some fun. <laughs> fair, that's fair. Uh, all right, then. Anything else? Nothing else. No, I think so. All right. Uh, then um, this was us. 
we're gonna be back uh, in two weeks times uh, talking about the midnight club the new mike flanagan uh, tv series on netflix um oh i have one more sorry i just, oh. just it, it just quickly came to me uh you uh, uh, me? <laughs> no, you. I'm yes. uh, season season uh, oh, yeah. five. I didn't see that. I did four. season four. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. And they're gonna do a two parter again. And I'm, I was like, ah, fuck off. <laughs> it's set in London this time. Apparently, he's I'm, a professor now. <laughs> I know. I'm so excited. It's it's. <laughs> I was talking to somebody the other day who was like, I had to stop watching that because I found it so creepy. It is um, creepy. It's creepy uh, it was like, I don't like it. And I was like, well, the person who show runs it, I've got beef with her because she also show run this show and I have beef. <laughs> Fact. He deserved better. <laughs> he did. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that was us for this time don't forget to subscribe yes. uh, leave a like and you know all that Save YouTube your stuff series, podcast uh, things that you can rate us that's always fun uh, commenting is nice uh, all those things I, I'm I'm very I'm just not very good at selling that sort of thing but I, I do really appreciate it when you do it, yeah throw it around to the people you know tell them that we're entertaining and fun yeah. make some opinions on things yes <laughs> we, are, we are sometimes a bit crazy, but that's fine. That's part of the appeal. I know. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> uh, we love you all. Goodbye. Goodbye, friends.